My name's Dan, and I'm a seeker of the truth, and that's what this podcast is all about. The truth. The truth about events that occurred here nearly 40 years ago. Events that have remained unexplained all this time until now. Let's start with some geography. I'm speaking to you live from Rendlesham Forest in Suffolk. We're about 15 miles east of Ipswich, about five miles from the coast, and it was here in this most English of forests that the most documented UFO sighting in the UK occurred back in the winter of 1980. Slow down. You're, go you're going too fast. I have to maintain the schedule. But the conditions, the snow, the, the ice. I have total control. No, you don't, you stupid machine. You're running out of flight. You admit you are responsible for the interference. What are you on about now? Interference with my external senses. <laughs> A machine with paranoia. I've heard it all now. I'm getting out of here. Screams at me from inside the house! Don't you see? I was being driven to disobedience! I was losing control! And it wasn't my fault! It was the damn fence and their bloody barking! After dinner, they come out again and start to bark! I try! I try hard! They're laughing at me! And that fence starts to give a little more! And I bark! And I dig and I dig and they bark and they bark and they dig and I dig and I dig and I bark and I bark and they dig and they dig and I bark and finally smash you! Suppose you're wondering how we got into this little pickle. How a postman who used to carry a, a bag of mail and a walkman ended up carrying a Smith and Weston. And ammunition. And for that we need to go back to February the 4th. And that stupid bitch of a newsreader who made me spill my pint all over the table. We all spilled our pints that day. Stop fucking around you two and get me out with a fucking dress. Oh you want help now do you? I'm not like Raven back here with his fucking leg line at the bottom of the crater. That's an order for in time brothers. Be careful, man! Ah, ah! I gave that bomb a Morphe, didn't I? Oh yeah, he was real generous with some fucking charity that himself. Morphe was from my wife, for me, from her. She would know I wouldn't be in pain.